Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts uh, with the title, Dangerous Sacrifice. Dangerous Sacrifice. You know, one of the things I've learned that God is no respecter of persons, but God is a respecter of sacrifice. You'll be very, very surprised. I mean, I, I was blown away when I read that. God is no respecter of persons, but God is a respecter of sacrifice. Now, the Bible said in, in Genesis, when God was talking about the sacrifice of Cain and the sacrifice of Abel, he said, and God didn't have respect unto the sacrifice of Cain, but God had respect for the sacrifice of Abel. That means the sacrifice of Abel kicked God. The sacrifice of, of, of Abel may, maybe gave God a jolt, like, whoa. And that's it. I mean, it is true. God is no respecter of persons, but God is a respecter of sacrifice. And that is a very plain, old-fashioned truth. You may walk away from it, you may fight it, but that is the truth. Now, guess what? I mean, Abraham offered sacrifices unto God. And then, then uh, when Abraham was about to offer Isaac, then God said, Now I know. Now I know. That means, oh, wow. Well, did God didn't, God must supposed to have known all things. But he said, this thing that Abraham has done, I respect it. This thing that Abraham has done, it, it just blows my mind. I, am, I know beyond every shadow of doubt. I'm convinced concerning the integrity of the heart of Abraham. And this is a noticeable thing, a notary uh, act, action of, 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 uh, of Abraham, and I have taken notice of it. So like I said, God is no respecter of persons, but God is a respecter of sacrifice. And there are certain sacrifices that we bring, and it's called dangerous sacrifice. In 1 Kings, Chapter 18, verse 22 to 24. If you remember, Elijah called the people together. And when Elijah called the people together, Elijah said, let's offer sacrifice. You know the contest between Elijah and the 400 prophets of Baal. The Bible said the prophets of Baal offered their sacrifice. That was the cow and all this. Thing. They went into the, all, all their gyrations and their gymnastics in order to get the fire to come down from heaven. But no fire came from heaven. But then when it came to Elijah, see what Elijah did. The Bible says, Elijah picked up the cow slaughtered the cow, put the cow on the, on the altar, and then Elijah began to make certain statements, and then Elijah uh, prayed. And then Elijah did something that, for me, was very curious. Elijah asked for water to be brought, and they brought the water to uh, uh, Elijah, and they went once, twice, or three times until the trenches uh, were filled with water and was pouring water on the sacrifice. Hey, wait a minute. You are going to pray down fire, and you are pouring water on on. Uh, on the on the sacrifice on the on the cow and i was saying wow i mean maybe was it a, a proof of power or a proof of something until i recognized something happened now guess what when the fire fell the bible says the fire devoured the 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 cow the fire devoured the wood and the altar you know and everything but then the bible says the king james version says then the and the fire licked the water and the fire licked the water so now the question that I'm asking, what was the sacrifice? The cow or the water? And for me, the cow was not the sacrifice. The water was the sacrifice. And let me explain. For three and a half years, it had not rained. And for three and a half years, people were looking for water. Even Elijah's water at the brook of Cherith had dried up. That should tell you that that was a, a, a very patched, a dry place and uh, there was a famine and there was no rain and everything I mean no water whatsoever and the Bible said why I'm saying the uh, water was a sacrifice when the fire fell it devoured the cattle it devoured the wood but when it came to to the water it leaked the water so here here's a principle God comes down devours this thing with his fire but when it came down to the water God knelt down stretched out his tongue and began to lick the water. Why? Because they're saying, wow, Elijah, what is in scarcity? What is not uh, in plenty? What is not in abundance is what you have offered me. You see, sometimes we can offer because of the abundance that we have. 
But when we offer out of the need, out of the out of the destitution, out of the desperation, when we give out that offer, that is the sacrifice. That comes with pain. That comes with blood. That comes uh, with a little uh, more hesitancy and everything that you can think of. When Elijah offered the, 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 the water, God was saying Elijah had discovered a secret. And therefore, when he came to the cow, devoured. When he came to the wood, devoured. When he came to the water, I believe that God knelt down and began to lick the water and said, Ha, 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 Elijah. Wow, look at what you have done. And therefore, when God stirred himself up, you know, when you give to God, he's going to give you good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. But when God rose up and said, wow, I need to return, good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over for Elijah, God never offered Elijah uh, cows, like, uh, I mean, uh, abundance of a lot of cows. But hear what Elijah said, I hear the sound of abundance of water. Sacrifices that are dangerous are sacrifices that are costly. And they are dangerous because of the, of the results they produce. Because of the explosion they bring into your life. But because of the, the things, that, the, the glory that will visit you. We call them dangerous offerings. We call them dangerous sacrifices. And sometimes we give out of abundance. And when we give out of our need, when we give and we feel the pain, David said, I will not offer you anything that will cost me nothing. David said, whatever I'm going to offer you, my blood must be in it. It has to be costly. And that's why the woman with alabaster box of speaking out oil, the Bible says costly. That's the Bible qualified in not just uh, alabaster box of oil, but costly speaking out of oil. They are dangerous sacrifices and the results they produce, powerful results. So you know one thing, God is no respecter of persons, but he's a respecter of sacrifice. And the power of your sacrifice will speak in your time of need will speak in your time of desolation, will speak in your time of agency, will speak in your time of desperation. Dangerous sacrifices. I know what I'm talking about. Go, boy, I got testimonies of this kind of sacrifices and the results they brought. Well, it's a choice you have to make. See you later.